Hello, I'm James Henley, Managing Editor of RDA Toolkit, and in this video I will give you an introduction to AACR2 as it appears on RDA Toolkit. AACR2, or Anglo-American Cataloging Rules 2nd Edition, can be found under the Resources tab in RDA Toolkit. It's the first item here, AACR2. I can click the plus signs here in the front to uh, expand the table of contents to see the different areas. I can click the minus signs to collapse it. When I click into title and statement of responsibility area, I go um, right to that instruction or rule. You can see the page uh, navigation is pretty much the same as you see with RDA. You can jump from page to page. You can use the next page or previous page buttons. The uh, Functionality, functionality in the user menu is pretty much the same. What is uh, significantly different in the AACR2 display are the sets of um, links that you encounter. Um, the first one are these black AACR2 cross-references. Simply click, click those and it will take you to um, a different point in AACR2 that's being referred to. So here we went to 1.0C after clicking that link uh, associated with 1.0C. The other kind of link you'll find are these RDA links, these blue RDA icons. Um, these will take you to the RDA instruction that um, is uh, associated with uh, that particular AACR2 instruction. So here, in the case of 1.1A1 uh, 1 .1 1 punctuation, I click on that and you can see it takes me to the appendices. Um, which uh, covers punctuation in the title and uh, statement of responsibility area. Now to get back to AACR2 I just need to click the resources tab one more time or again I should say and it takes me right back to where I was in AACR2. Uh, the next type of link we have are these gold colored um, catalogers desktop links uh, with the gold coloring and the black letters. Um, these are links that will take you to different um, documents within Catalogers Desktop. So in this case, I'll click on the Mark 1 here, and you can see it opens a new tab and takes me, takes me to Catalogers Desktop and takes me right into the Mark 21 format for Bibliographic Data Document and right to the um, relevant field um, from where I was in AACR2, in this case 245 Title Statement. It's important to note that you do need to have a subscription to Catalogers Desktop in order to take advantage of these um, gold-colored uh, links that appear in AACR2. Um, we do have, in addition to um, the MARC links, we have DCRMB links, that's Descriptive Cataloging uh, Rare Materials Books. We have Cartographic Materials, CM. And we also have Library of Congress Rule Interpretations, LCRI. Here, I'll click that one, too. You can see it, uh, again, opens a new tab, and it takes you right to Library of Congress Rule Interpretations. We also have these um, red uh, icons um, that say LACRI. That's Library Archives Canada Rule Interpretations. And if you click on that um, icon, it'll take you right to the... Um, Library and Archives Canada um, website and their rule interpretations. So this particular website, Library Archives Canada, is free to the public. So there's no additional subscri subscription, subscription required uh, in, the, uh, in that particular case. Now you may find this um, display a little cluttered and busy. Um, you can try and relieve that a bit by going to your profile. If you click the little My Profile icon up here, and you go into Toolkit Settings, right here in the first box, and under Display the Selected Link Sets in AACR2, you can see we have a list of um, link sets that you can turn on and off. Um, the default is to have them all on, so you can come in here and turn off the ones you don't think you're going to use so much. So I, I turned off DC, uh, RMB and LACRI, and then I click Update. And you can see there's a little message here, your, uh, your settings have been updated. So now when I return to that same area, you can see the red icons are gone from um, uh, the LACRI um, links. And you can also see the DCRMB um, links are gone as well. So hopefully that's a way to make your um, 
experience using AACR2 um, a little more efficient and uh, helpful. If you have any questions or comments, do contact us at rdatoolkit at ala.org. Happy cataloging.